Hello and welcome to Gen 4. We are in a hurry because my the internet cut out right before qualifying started here and I had to reset it and thankfully we're back in time. <laughs> but just barely in time. So we're kind of rushing out there. We are at Iowa in the Gen 4. And uh, we did this combo already in the Diet Dr. Pepper series. But this is the first time I think I've done it in official. So let's see what we can get out of this. Clearly not prepared at all. Or, you know, I'm prepared. I practiced, but got a little frantic. Getting into the session. Thankfully, it looks like we're going to be okay. One more lap. I had it on session optimal, so I couldn't quite see how I was doing. That lap time was 23.8. See if we can hit a faster lap here. And cut down low. All right, <laughs> one thousandth faster the second lap. So at least I'm consistent. And uh, as of right now, I'm on pole, so that's cool. <laughs> Everything worked out. It seems a um, bit of a lower stake the field. I'm kind of bummed. I thought uh, we'd have more people signing up for this, but on the Sunday evening here, and not even super late evening like I tend to do. Only 1.7k strength of field. We are the one car. And, uh... Hopefully we'll have ourselves a good race. Not too many crashes. Concerns me a little bit anytime we have a, a lower strength of field and a, a bit of a tough car. I think we could definitely get guys snapping on exit for sure here at Iowa. Thing that happens here. Not too infrequently, if you're not careful. I know I could have hit a faster lap. But I think uh, what we have is going to get the job done. Here we got a 758. But 769 should get the job done. And it does. Alright. Sorry for the uh, frantic start. Um, we've got 100 laps here to do. Do I have them muted? I do not, so. 19 cars out there. And uh, we're going to get in the car here in a moment. All right, we just finished doing the uh, Kern County Championship. In the trucks, 250 laps there. That was a fun event, even though there were a handful of cautions. And uh, I just still had the itch to race, so we're out here in the Gen 4. We've got 72.7 estimated laps of fuel, so we will have to pit before the end of this thing, and hopefully uh, we even have to do some green flag pit stops, but we'll see about that. I think uh, the only chance we have at that is if guys get spread apart pretty good. Like I said, 1.7k strength of field. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. High rating strength does not always correlate with the uh, safety of the drivers and whatnot. So it could still be a nice, fun, clean race. Let me get session last lap ready. Waiting on some peeps to get into the car. The 8 car does have a, a B2.1 safety rating, so that makes me a little nervous. I'm going to give him a little extra room. You never know, he might be fine. But just looking at that on Race Lab, so. You have two additional sets of just might have to be a little careful. And have a good run. Could be he just runs a bunch of uh, short track. Street stocks and all that stuff. Maybe he's been Track taking part in the Draft 90. Master Series. Yeah, bringing his safety rating down through no fault of his own. That can happen easily. He does have the Ricky Bobby scheme, though. <laughs> T2. 
two to green here. I think we could have gotten away with one to green, but it is a technically short track here at Iowa, so they give us the extra lap. Interestingly, I think it's going to be a first gear start. Lots of room there on the uh, tachometer, or whatever you call it. Tachometer. I guess someone's starting on pit road. Might not be the worst idea, especially if you're the number 18. I don't doubt there's going to be some wrecks and whatnot. How many sets of tires we got? We got two sets of tires. What's going on, guys? One left to green. So, try not to use the first one before lap 33 or thereabouts. Just have to be smart about whenever we use those, because only two. We'll hopefully get ourselves a good jump. Gonna use first gear. Eight's ready to go out there on the outside. Get ready, going green. All right, Colton, be ready. All right. Green flag, green flag. We get a good jump. And a yellow already out, so that's not ideal. Slow it down, don't use up any tire during caution for no reason. That's not really what you want to see. Can right away. Not too many people here in, though, in, in this uh, session, though, so... At least uh, maybe if we get a couple of wrecks early, there's not going to be very many people left to crash at some point. Is that the 18, the guy that started on pit road? Oh yeah, I guess he's probably just getting wave around, right? So. Well, he was uh, not wrong that uh, starting on pit road would be just fine. He's got that Kurt Busch looking Sharpie scheme. At least that's who I associate Sharpie with. Especially in this body. Car body. Not hearing any chatter about whatever happened. So I'm not sure what did. We got people on pit road fixing stuff. The 11 looks like. Maybe uh, making some repairs. I'm saving fuel, but we would need to save way too much to think we'd make it to the end or something. I think we have to make it to at least lap like 30 or so. Full course yellow. It's Maybe right. a little bit sooner if we plan to make it to the end, but it's also hard to tell, having done hardly any laps. Fuel calculator still has to calibrate. Glad I got back in here in time. I really thought I was going to miss the start of this race because of uh, the internet issues. It was actually not on the ISP this time. We just uh, accidentally had a plug pulled. <laughs> Thankfully that meant we could get it back real quick. Did you try unplugging it and plugging it back in again? That was actually the solution this time. Plug it in. So we got a good jump to start this thing. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. Maybe even jump a little bit earlier. Just got to be careful. First gear is a little bit unstable, but if you're, uh, if I'm able to kind of be gentle on the throttle, we should be able to get a good jump with it. Eighteen's going to get himself a wave around. Please tell me it's two to green. Feels like we've been under pacing forever already. 
There it is. All right. He'll be able to make his way around to the rear of the field with his wave around, and then we'll be able to find our spot behind the pace car. I wanted to do this uh, this combo this week for sure. Just almost ran out of time. Is it gonna let the lap car start from the lead? Nah, it'll give him the wave around here once we get one to green. So yeah, I wanted to do this combo. Running out of time here. It is Sunday night. I was hoping for a bigger field, but that's all right. I'm here, and that's good enough for me. One to go. Next time, green, by. Next time by. Line up on the inside. 18, taking his time <laughs> to go around. I knew it was going to let him by, so I was like, why isn't he going? But he figured it out. Back to first gear. Gonna go right when it says pace car is off. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, 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 green. That's a new fastest lap for Mayers. Thirty-one point five. All right, get a good start. Everything is going well. Taking that inside line, I think that should be best for the tires. You've just done a 24.3. The guy behind has just done a 24.4. Not really sure what part of the tires are going to get most worn. Could be the rears. I don't really remember how the tires wore uh, in the Diet Dr. Pepper series, but I do know that the uh, lap times and stuff are a little different, it feels like. With different uh, weather conditions and all that, so could be that uh, the behavior of the tire wear will change anyway relative to what we had. Uh, I think I remember us running the top line too. That was the fastest way around. So that's also interesting because I don't think top side three and four is necessarily where you want to be. It's just about as fast, but. I think it's going to be worse on the tires. And so if, if they're equal beside that, might as well take the, the uh, low side, which is better on the tires. Pretty loose down there, though. But we're moving away. We're getting away from the guys behind. So all is well. Let's get some laps in. That'd be great. Pacing felt like it took forever, so it love to limit the number of cautions we have to deal with if possible. Not being nice to the uh, rear tires a little bit, not gassing it up too hard. That's it. Just making sure I use enough brake to get down to the bottom. It's about to turn. I try to kind of keep the wheel straight for the exit so I can put the throttle down and not get too slidey. Lap times are pretty consistent. Times are pretty consistent. I like to hear that. Pretty good. Car's handled just fine. Really enjoy the June 4. So happy we have it on iRacing now. It'll be even cooler 
once we get uh, an actual Gen 4 in here, and not the nationwide body that was used as the Arca body for so long. Be interesting to see how the uh, actual thing differs from what we have now. Most part, it's going to be pretty similar, I think. I'm sure it's going to have its own unique characteristics. I have to get used to. I look forward to it. Excellent era of NASCAR racing. And it's awesome to have some power under the hood. So many cars now that uh, kind of do the lower power thing. Higher downforce, all that. We got about a second behind us at the moment. Feeling good. Be interesting to see if we need to move up the track later if the handling changes. It's kind of what happens in the Arca car, which is the same car body as I mentioned before. But will that be the case here when we've got more power, more drive off the right rear? Usually you can get the lower line working a little bit better, it feels like. I need the apron, that wasn't very good. Lost a little time there. Try to be a little smoother than that. Got a second to spare there, though. I don't. I'm not too concerned about driving crazy hard. Let's just maintain. That's all we got to do. If we keep it smooth, we should be able to uh, keep up the pace as well. Hopefully. For drive too. Lap 20 now, though. So far, so good. Got a nice green run now. I was a little worried about uh, how many laps we were going to get under green after the very, very early caution. Things are looking pretty good. Uh oh. There's a couple people wrecked, though. I see them on my relative. Caution as we catch them. Someone down low, but he's heading the right direction. There's Sharpie. Unfortunately, starting from the pits did not work out right. It's at some point you do have to leave the pits, unfortunately. <laughs> That's where the scary stuff happens. Well, some scary stuff happens on pit road, too. Maybe if you saw the uh, tire changer, I think it was in the truck race. He got hit by the sliding truck, and then he just got back up and finished the stop. That was crazy. I could never. <laughs> I'll stay here where it's safe, behind uh, my fake steering wheel, I guess. That still feels good to me. Still pretty early though. Just finishing up lap 23. Keeping it close to the bottom. 1.1 behind or so. Back to 1 as I said that. Maintaining just fine. Short behind is now 1.2. Time do we pit? I think we definitely go past lap 50, especially with the early caution. Probably go a little longer because this can be a tough pit road to enter with you guys wrecking on entry. If we go lap 60, 60 plus, we're pit in. Sounds good to me. 
We'll see if we even need to, though. It seems like there was a some sort of collision or crash that didn't bring out a caution. Could be more on the way. Could actually bring the field to a halt. You've just done a 24.8. Fun track to drive for sure. I like Iowa. I'm not always very good at it. But I do like Iowa whenever you can actually make passes. I remember we came here in the Arca car and uh, passing was just impossible. And that was frustrating, but remember the Gen 4 race here in the Dyke Doc Dr. Pepper series was pretty good. I remember you could actually kind of power down low, extra speed, and make that lower line work a little bit more. Almost do kind of like slide job type stuff. Get around somebody, and then you kind of have the back and forth, which is much more fun than just not being able to get by anybody. Plus, if you get the long runs, you never know if you've got better tires than somebody, and that can help you get around. Gap is growing behind us, I'd like to see that. That lap time was 24.8. That still feels great. Maybe a smidge tight, mid corner. But just use a little bit extra brake and it's not a real big deal. Gets it uh, down to the bottom of the track. Take the short way around the corner. The speed up pretty well, so Your lap time was we are doing just fine. Got the brake bias back all the way to 60%. Probably could move it back even further, to be honest, but not really seeming necessary to mess with it right now. We're doing just fine where we are. You've just done a Car can get it. You've been holding me up for like 10 laps now. Car can uh, get a little loose on the end of the straightaways once you kind of start getting close to the banking. Kind of wants to pull to the left, so you do have to kind of watch out for that. Maybe go to partial throttle just a tiny bit early. You've just done a 24.9. Slight lift of the throttle once you get close to the corner. got almost two seconds now behind us. I'd like to see it. We also got some lap cars we're seeing. Just ahead and a crash. Lap you're going to play at A13. Alright. I probably not too pleased has been sounds like. So we will be coming into pit. We can make it to the end now. No green flag pit stops for us, I guess. Brother. What's your problem? Pete Rose is now open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Eleven, man. What the fuck? Okay, thirteen. Now I've had enough. You wrecked me twice for no reason, pal. We are upsetty spaghetti here in Iowa. Making sure I don't pass the pace car. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. What's your problem now? We got problems. Fucking plaster man didn't see you. Pit box team ten. <laughs> We're uh, having a Five, having a time. Three, two, one. Right here. Got ourselves in the first pit stall, making a stop, 89-89. I'll share that in case that's helpful to anybody to know how hard they can push. Hey, you just intentionally wrecked him? Yeah, we intentionally wrecked him. We're done, get going! I need to spin the tires, we're out on plenty of time. And uh, we're good on shit, so. Hi there, what we doing? Coming up on the 13. He's not pit or anything. I 
the Affleck car. Rest in peace, Gilbert Godfrey. That's a sad one. Really enjoyed his voice acting. Not just his voice acting either. He did some real, uh, real person acting or whatever. Uh, All right, then. That's why you got me twice, right? Six. What do you mean? You came down the track on me the second time. I'm literally just taping. Go watch the replay. Please. Before you start, just write to me. Go watch the replay. Please. Well, 13 might be related to the 16. I wonder if they're like brothers but or something. I watched the replay. It's funny how as soon as I said you were slowing me down, you wrecked me. Watch the fucking replay. I can't even hear you, bro. I didn't have my mic on until you wrecked me and gave me a chance to fucking put my headset on. 16 saving a set of tires, which is just fine. I just hope that he uh, is careful on those old tires. And uh, hold his line. We're going to be much faster. No, sir, I didn't do it intentionally. I told you I hit the wrong paddle. I meant to hit the brake and I hit the throttle. That's probably you're not good if you don't know which pedal does which. Anyway, that's funny coming for me though, because I did, I, think, I, think <laughs> I did that at a uh, Atlanta race once. I was going to press the clutch, and I accidentally hit the brakes and nearly brake checked the guy behind me, whoever it was at the time. That was pretty funny. So rich coming for me. The 16's going to be out on his old tires. Shouldn't be too much of an issue for us, though. He'll be on the inside. We'll be on the outside. Just uh, got to make sure that we don't overtake him Break seven, on the jump. And time. hopefully he doesn't uh, spin up his tires. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Do you know how many times you slid up in front of me and chopped off my line where I had to back off so I didn't wreck you? Come on, buddy. 10 car of Mark Martin getting the wave around, it looks like. Sounds like racing. One left to green. You're on the outside this time. Yeah, it should, yeah. it should be sounds like, uh, sounds like 35 last time. Yeah. Oh, okay, so when you slide up two lanes in front of me and I have to hit my brakes mid-corner and not wreck you, I should have, what, just kept going because it's racing? No idea what happened. We'll find out what they're arguing about uh, in the incidents like later. Good defensive driving, in my opinion. Exactly my point. Now he's accusing me of wrecking him. If it's your choice as a driver, if you feel like that's a sticky move, then you wreck him or don't. Give him some extra space on the inside, and then he turned around and wrecked me. So, should have just wrecked him to begin with. Green, 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 flag, green, green flag. flag. The next car's the leader. P3, caution. Yellow lane, yellow lane. Stop, stop. Pit road is closed. What the fuck was that? The car in front is short. So they have issues on the restart. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Big checkup. The race car's out. Line up single file. The number two car missed the shift, 16. or what? We're under caution. Pits are closed. Sorry, not number two. Position two car. I uh, I had to be careful on the launch because the guy on the inside had old tires. I didn't want to accidentally beat him to the line or something. That might have set off a chain reaction there. Nice. Fine, where you at? Uh, I'm going home. I thought I got a fine launch. Like I said, I, I couldn't go any... 16 not pit? What was that? I thought I just saw the 16 go pit. Yes, he did. The lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Yeah, I thought we were all going there, and all of a sudden, everybody was stopping right in front of them. Letter 16, carbide. 
I apologize if I, I took it too easy. I was just trying to be easy on it since, like I said, I didn't want to black flag myself. Are open. Yeah, I was a pencil gentleman down the wrong side. I was going past the spot. Yeah, I mean, I get you stayed out. Probably had a lot more than you thought you did because my tires were only in the high 80s when I pit in, so it's all good. Shit out of them. That sucks. I hope uh, that wasn't on me at all. Well, we'll see what it looked like later, but... Not what you want at all. I certainly don't want to be around here pacing. Maybe that was a, a worse launch than I thought. Like, I mean, I know I was, I was just going partial throttle, but these cars like to spin it up anyway. So I figured, all right, I'll just be nice to the rear tires on this restart. Maybe they just weren't ready for it. I don't know. To the green. Thank you. All right. Pits are closed. We'll try this again. It'll be uh, E2 once more, but with somebody with the, the fresh tires so we can really launch normally. Forty-three done. We're gonna be what? Not one to go. left. Fifty-six at the line, so not even halfway. Be careful into turn so one and two. Dude, he's gonna want to take. Well, I don't know. Maybe he'll take the bottom lane, but i got to be careful if he chooses to take the middle lane. So uh, if I end up up high, there are those bumps up there i got to be careful of. Get ready. Going green. Car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. Pit road's open. The next car's the leader. Ain't got it going. B2. 10 coming out of the pits. So I'll take the high line for one corner, that's fine. We'll loose out of uh, the corner for four, it looks like, maybe. Car inside. Clear inside. He gets loose. We'll get around him. You are the leader. You're the and we can go back to the bottom. All right. And a little bit of a gap. Good stuff.
Should be uh, good on fuel to the end now, so not to worry about that. Nice to the tires though still. If we do go green, we're going to want to make sure these uh, things are still gripping up by the time we're in the 90s into lap 100. For that. No pressure from the I just run your line. Your last lap time was at 23.9. feel bad about that uh, restart. I hope I didn't cause that. I, I'm definitely going to look at it later. I really felt like I did okay on the restart. Like, d did what I wanted to do. That was a 24.0. But having not been able to see it yet, I can't say for certain if I was just way too slow. Showing up again on the top right. It's been temperamental today, even when we're not unplugging it. <laughs> okay, Colton, that's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. Get weird if it wants to, as long as it goes back to normal and doesn't completely cut out. We can manage that. I'm totally okay. Deal with that. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Got about a second behind us. Your lap time was at 24.0. That was a 24.1. That's good consistency, keep it up. They look like they could uh, be battling back there, which would be great news for us. They slow each other down. Close enough they could uh, end up side by side. Cars off pace. I think those are guys that just have damage, though. I don't think they're wrecking or anything. We're over halfway now. Made it to that point. Kind of messed up that corner. Went a little bit too low, too early in the corner. This lap's done. Going to be coming up on those lap cars sooner rather than later, though. It seems like we're approaching pretty quickly. They must have some pretty big damage. Not caused by me, depending on what we see in the replay of that uh, restart. That still feels great. No complaints here. We got our new tires on it. Even uh, the old tires from the last round weren't feeling all that bad. Big loose out of the corner. No major tight on entry. All of it manageable. The gap to short behind is all about just hitting the marks at this point. Maintaining the gap we have, which is growing still. Almost two seconds to be two. That lap was a 24.5 40 and one to go one to go it's a entry Good 
All right, coming up with a five. Your last lap time was at twenty-four point six. He's running up high, so we'll be able to get around him on the low side, I think. Shouldn't be any trouble. Oh, I like that uh, paint scheme. Who, who drove that? Was that? I know Kevin LePage drove it at one point, didn't he? Calcium Lime Arrest. Like, cleaner or whatever that is. Around him. No issues there. The gap to short behind is now 2.3 seconds. Got a sorry, is there a wreck somewhere? Probably not. Seems like we're all good. Here we go. So we got the 13 coming up and then the 18. Eighteen then the thirteen, since they're battling, I guess. Looks like the thirteen won that battle though. What's he doing up there? I can't see. Okay. Whew. That was a little scary. Get around him though. Two point four behind us. That was a plenty of room to breathe. The captain short behind us. a little tired. Or uh, tired. Yeah, the car's tired. Needs a breather. No. <laughs> the car is uh, a little tight. A little tighter center corner. But just using a little bit of extra brake and it's hitting the line just fine. The lap time was at 24.8. Not even really losing too much speed either. That's so. Are leaving the pit lane. That's interesting. You match in race pace. This is good. That lap time was twenty-four point eight. It's taking longer than I expected to reach some of these lap cars. They're going pretty fast around here. Hopefully, they don't battle us or anything. Could uh, cut into our lead. If we have to. Uh, Go side by side for a while or something. Oh, the guys in the wall up ahead. The gap to short behind is now 2.9. Looking to be smooth. I don't have to hit that slap or anything. Doing just fine. How we're running. Kind of like at an 80% pace right now. How about just hitting the line, being smooth? It's doing well for us. Let's 
So it's pass right, so we'll take the high line. Thanks, man. That side seems faster anyway. So if, if we needed to, we could move up higher and get some more pace, but just gonna take the low line, be better on tires instead. Compared to last lap here, green through most of the corner, but once we get to the runoff, you can see much faster. If we needed to pick up the pace, we could. Just good to have in our back pocket. So, has been just elite masterclass saving tires back there, <laughs> and they start flying up, and we have to start hitting some hot laps to keep our gap or something. If that happens, then at least we've got the option of turning on the the jet fuel on the high line in 3 and 4. Definitely appreciate having had the experience here. That Dr. Pepper series, though, I think that really has paid off. Getting track time with this combo, it's like having a cheat code. <laughs> Tons of practice with the exact combo. It really helps out as I hit the apron and spin. Yeah, doing a great job. <laughs> you just I quit blabbering and keep driving. I can actually drive a little bit better. <laughs> And up on more of the field there. Let's get a little looser on exit. You kind of feel it. I've been very gentle getting back on throttle though. I think that's helped us out. At this room, having to worry too much about oversteer on exit. Though I am feeling it. The captain short oh, behind is now 3.5. These guys let us go. Very cool of them. I would love this thing to go green to the end. It's been a great run. See some guys on the wall though, and some guys entering the corner low, so that's, those aren't good signs. But we, it has been a great run. That run right now. Oh, another big wall hit for somebody up ahead. I think that's the 18 that's bouncing off. That's Chastain's alt account. Chastain does run on here on iRacing a bit. I remember I was in a practice session with him once, I believe. And uh, I've seen videos of other guys that were in races with him. So that's always really cool, seeing real drivers out here. Almost up to four seconds behind us. Feeling good. I don't even know if I necessarily want to catch up to this group ahead of us. But a little too much time left in the race for me to start easing off, I think. So we'll keep at it. Just keep a sharp eye up ahead. For any potential contact or wrecks of any sort. Whoa, that guy's getting real loose up there, I see. In the wall. Other guy in the wall. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh, jeez, don't hit me. That was a little scary. Okay, gotta ease up for this guy. It's fine, I don't think he meant to be there. I'll just get around. Oh my gosh, why is he blocking us? Short. Overdriving majorly. What is he doing? What are you doing, man? Who's that guy on Clear outside. Car outside. Clear outside. If there's a chunk of time there, you have to deal with that. Be extra careful. Clear outside. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Clear high. So carefully making my way through. Don't mind me. Getting loose in front of us. They're too wide in front of us. Oh my god, there's someone wrecking down below. This <laughs> is some scary lap traffic here. Great job, there to go. Inside, you're in the middle, three wide. Still there, still there. Where do you want to be in the middle, three wide? Not the waste time. Clear outside if you want it. Got in a low side was real slow and ended up three wide when I definitely did not want to. Trying to be patient. But we make it through, we're fine. Gonna be coming to eight to go. Really hope we don't get a late restart because you know you're gonna get guys that try to stay out on old tires or something. And that. Let's just get this thing over with, huh? Sorry, for man. I was trying to give it a little. Look. He's getting a little bit sideways on the uh, front stretch, the curved front stretch. Gotta watch out for that. That'll happen when you got so much power under the hood. Hands are cramping a little bit. Loosen my grip on the wheel. Just a smidge. It's not necessary anyway. We're just kind of cruising, trying to get the last, uh, last of these laps done. like we've lapped up to the top 10. That's pretty cool. Not too many cars out here today anyway, though. Five. Five to go. Just done Five to go. We are in a podium position. You are not wrong, Spotter. Technically not incorrect. Four to go. Let's keep it green. 
One more lap car we might have to deal with, but probably can just kind of hang behind. You two still 3.8 back. Going up and hitting the wall. See, plenty of room. We're good. Pretty loose on exit. So I'm glad I was too hard on the rears throughout the run. So I imagine that would only have been worse. Well, let's take the uh, high line at three and four. White flag, nice and smooth. Faster up here, anyway. Plenty faster, yeah. One more lap. Keep it no together. more cautions now. Let's see it. Drive it in hard. One final time through. All right, get the win. We did it. Well done, mate. That was absolutely perfect. You are great. Win. See you in victory lane. See you in victory lane. Thank you, sir. I was indeed in a podium position after all. <laughs> Go ahead and park it. Right about right here. We had a nice good long run at the end there. That was a good race. Let's check that restart now. Where was it? I mean, looks fine to me, right? They kind of just run into the back of guys, I don't know. Was I, was I really all that bad? I mean... I mean, I know I'm not, like, full throttle, but just taking it easy on lap, you know, 40, lap 39 even. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but just had the guy on the inside there, so I was just taking a look at him. I don't know. It wasn't a great launch, but I, I didn't feel like I needed to go crazy. Hmm. I don't know. It's hard to even say, like, what really caused it. I mean, the two is right on my bumper. And I guess maybe the 5 couldn't see that I wasn't launching quite as fast. I don't know, that sucks. Uh, the guy ended up having a pretty decent launch there from the front. 
I shifted pretty early, I think. So maybe that may be pretty slow. I don't know, man. But we'll take a look at the other incidents. Sorry for dwelling on that a little bit. I'm just... I want to take a good, hard look at it. So if there's anything I could have done differently to prevent that. Uh, 12 is just going to run over the 11 right from the start. Some minor damage. That was your immediate caution to start the race. Then we got lap 10. Wall hit. No idea where the 13's going. Eleven goes straight into the 18, who uh, was finding the wall a lot. Kind of weird that he aimed for him there. He didn't really turn down at all. And then the 18 comes down right in front of him after they make contact. They just could not stay away from each other. A little bit of a blink from the 14. You remember there were some complaints. 13's too far down the track. That is on him. Remember the 7 was upset because he couldn't get around him, but... I think the 13 got loose, pushing really hard, and he needs to be higher up the track, and he just hooks the 7 into the wall. So that was that one. Sounded like maybe we just had some intentional wrecking going on in the back. Let's see if that's actually true. 7 gets going. Not sure why we're seeing this. Oh my god. 11 just not paying attention, I guess. Uh, probably should open your eyes while racing. That helps. And then the uh, seven's getting all macho and <laughs> bends himself. Yeah, you showed him. <laughs> uh, that's great. Yeah, it was on the 13, but now you look like the dummy. Is he going to do it again? He wants to wreck himself some more? Yeah, definitely what Dale Earnhardt would have done. Yeah, look at that. Budweiser. Did the Dale Senior, Dale Junior special. Remember that time Dale Earnhardt wrecked himself under caution to show another guy who's boss? That was a good one. 13 catching up to the field. Nothing there. Restarting on lap 38. Oh, this was this again. Okay. Yeah, man. I mean, I didn't get the best jump, but I wasn't really trying to. It's lap 38. And we're just going through the gears and just maybe an unfortunate chain reaction. Guy's not really leaving much space. I don't know. Please tell me if that's on me. You're watching. And then the five, trying to hold on to it. Regardless if it is on me or not, I apologize to the guys involved, because, you know, it did involve me in a, in a way, so I hate that that happened. 14 finding the wall. I like his very Halloween-looking paint scheme. That's a spooky bat on the rear end of this thing. It's October now, starting to see some Halloween schemes. That's fun. 17's getting the wall. Some more wall. Just some wall hits at this point, it looks like. Five's probably got terrible handling with how his uh, car is beat up there. Doesn't look like it's turning all too well. You got the 18 driving way too hard into the corner. Uh, 
He is having himself a, a rough time, I think. Showing the five a lot. Probably got some broken pieces on that car. So I'm breaking it a little bit more, too. Getting up into the wall, 15 finding him. Six getting some wall on exit. We are near the end of this race, though, as the 14 is going to find the wall another time. Right there, not too much to see. D7, high side one and two, usually not going to work too well. Yeah, he gets through it, though. The bumps certainly send him for a ride, but he made it work, and uh, that'll do it. So that is a win for us out of the pole. An estimated 19 I rating gain, since it was only a 1.7k strength of field. Uh, we will see what the actual uh, number is right here, though, in the race results page. 1753, to be exact, on the strength of field. No split, so it was single split. 108 championship points. We get the fastest lap time by actually a pretty good chunk, it looks like. That was actually better than our qualifying time. So we were hitting some pretty good laps. And, uh, 19. So we're exactly 5700 I rating right now. We lost a little bit after getting, I think, like P4 in that late model race recently. Because that was a pretty low strength of field as well. But uh, that's going to do it for this one, I think. Hey, thanks for joining me. Sorry I got a little bit boring near the end there, but um, I know kind of middle of the end, near the very end of it, we had some interesting lap cars, lap car traffic to go through. And that kind of spiced it up a little bit as we had to be defensive drivers, but we made it through and got the win. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.